CMPO stock, Compo Secure Inc. For the last trading session, the session of the 12th of September 2022, it closed at $5.97, a gain of 3.47%. It 5,600 shares crossed the tip, which was below average. And also during that session, it crossed above its 50 day moving average. The underlying trend for the stock is a bearish one, strongly bearish. You know, um, according to Benzinga, it is the number, it's on their on their list of the most shorter stocks, it is number four with um, uh, short interest of 91.76%. So I, 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 be, I believe this is the addition of what the short interest in the open market and the short interest in the in the dark pools. That is probably how this 91.76% uh, was determined, and indeed for all the other ones, you know. So moving on, you know, we have been able to plot a Fibonacci time zone for time zones for CMPO stock. This is we began from around uh, January, so December of 2020, December of 2021, December of 2021. Let's find out where that is. Just right about the time the demerge uh, took place, December of, exactly that was from there. Whether it is exactly when it was or not, but that's the, day, the time we took pick it off from. We picked it off from, and then. We have the prices here and the dates here. So normally, naturally, or rather, it is better to begin from the 13th, from the 13th um, position, I think, from the from the 13th deri products or derivation. You know, so you, the way you deri derive these figures is, is, is this is the first day, it is zero. The next day is one. And then um, you, you progress by adding uh, the two previous numbers to determine the next number so one plus zero is uh, one so one plus one two and then on like that so uh you, you determine the dates by you know since this is zero the next day is going to be the next the next trading session which was december of 21 so and then uh, since it's one here then the next trading session will be december 22nd so when you add two then it will be two days from the 22nd of december then the two days to the next two trading sessions was obviously 27th of December because obviously in between that you had a Christmas break and all that stuff and then you add two plus one and you know that's how you progress from that and then from the but we, we began to concentrate it's advisable to concentrate from the 13th product you know this is number 13 here this is number no, not exactly number 13 but this is the derivation the the, the 13th the 13th figure, the 13th product, you know, the product that is yields that 13, you know. So from there, you know, we have the prices. You know, what we can see here is that for on the on the 7th of February 2022, that was when that number that that 13 occurred. The price was 8.24 dollars, and you can see what it's in trying to imply is that um, the next time, next next time around, the next time zone, it is down from what it was previously and then the next time zone is up again though not as high as what it was on the 7th of february 2022 and then the next one again it's down so it's you know gradually retracing down and that is what we can see that's a pattern in the stock you know so it's a progressive degrad degradation you know so then the next time zone which is uh, time zone 89 we don't exactly know what that is. We don't exactly know, know what that is. But you know, given all of this, you know, uh, you, 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 may, you, may, you may be tempted to say that it might be, it might be, um, it might be higher than what it was as of the 18th of July. You know, so and also, um, yeah, it's, it, it, it should. Be, I mean, given the, this pattern we're seeing. It, you know, you probably won't, won't expect that it should be higher or it will be higher, you know. So that date will be on the 23rd of November. So in order to determine that, we can just simply say uh, we did find a difference between $7.28 and $5.90. Let's see what that difference is. And we'll see, we use Fibonacci with extension levels and uh, find what that price is. 7.28 minus 5.09 we have 2.16 so this looks a little bit i mean this looks a bit a little bit ambitious if we add 2.19 to 
the last price of 5.09 it looks quite ambitious you know, which would it would take it all the way up to um somewhere above the 7.28 but we know the pattern is a degrading pattern but there's no guarantee there's no it's not set in stone that you know that pattern will continue to be a downward a down downward trend you know because that is that, that's what the pattern is that was the, the pattern is a downward one from the 7th of february all the way down i mean as a matter of fact all from the 20th of december has been a you know the it's been a downward progression you know so we can use there are very a, a lot of um a fibonacci proje projections we can use you have one uh, 1 1.2 1 1.618 2.618 3.618 so but all of these ones will I mean you can see anything from anything from uh, one will take it way above uh, it, it wouldn't rhyme with pattern it will it will if you use if you multiply this by one it will it will just give you 7.28 you know and I mean and you might you might say why not you know who you know so but at the same time we could use a smaller figure we can use we multiply that by 0 0.618 which is also another we're now talking about we're now in the retracement sort of level so we use that and then we add one point we, that's the figure we have determined now we add it to uh, 5.09 and we have 6.44 so 6.44 let's let's just guess that's what it's going to be Six point four four dollars. So, uh, tentatively, this that's our prediction for November twenty third. You know, and you know somehow it falls into the pattern. You know, it's not exactly the pattern is a, is a is a is a bearish one. It, it's a retracing one. It's not uh, putting it to. Uh, I mean to you know go beyond what it is right now. But at the same time, who said we can't we can't multiply that product by by 0 0.2.618 the, the sort of uh, figure we have always been using in the previous uh, videos okay so we can divide this by 0 0.618 and we determine oh sorry we can always find that figure again 7.28 minus 5 point zero nine we have two point one nine so I mean who, who said we can't we can always do we can always multiply by one point six one eight or two point six one eight so okay let's multiply it by one point six one eight and we have a uh, three three point five four we add that to five point zero nine five point zero nine and we have eight point six three so um 8.63 that's another number we have you know so I mean by all means you can determine you can use any number you want to you know do this do this do this projection of yours or whatever it is you know want to do you know so we have you know this is a more modest um, uh, more modest more modest uh, forecasts of 6.44 and then even this is also slightly modest, slightly more modest as well, based on the sort of uh, projections we have been, you know, we have been using in previous videos. So I would just say that the range will probably be between 6.44 and 8.63. So this is all the way back to the 23rd of November. But at the same time, that's uh, more than two months away from today, the 13th of September, more than two months from now. So why don't I mean why can't we even try to forecast what's going to probably happen in a in a very sh in a much shorter space of time you know so we we can always uh, just simply pick up um, uh, Fibonacci greed and uh, pick it up from anything above you know at least okay just modestly pick it up from here this is pretty much recent this will be somewhere around uh, July so somewhere around maybe August or thereabout so let's see when that that date is. Let's see what that date is. Okay. Let's see what that date is. Okay. So let's. That date is uh, 
10th of August so yeah quite recent so that will be a very much a much much shorter short term that will give us a much uh, that's looking at it in a, a pretty much short term look okay let's pull it down and uh, pull it all the way down to where it closed all the way down so we are, we are we are projecting now we are expecting it to project upwards so the next target there is 6.26 6.26 you know so we even have 6.44 there as well 6.54 6.67 so um all of these yeah these are very much much shorter short short term projections from 6.26 all the way to where it was 7.10 okay uh uh so december november 23rd november 23rd is still very much far away okay so see see what you make of these this uh, all of these things concerning a CMPO stock, you can always uh, do your own time zone analysis and uh, do your own forecasts and uh, see what you're going to come up with. And also bear in mind as well that you know this short interest there, you know, market participants are looking at it, they're looking at it, and it seems also it has a relatively short uh, float as well. So, all of those things, and you have to also bear a uh, factor into all of these things. So, uh, if there's going to be well, if if there's going to be a short squeeze, you know, it might ruin everything because when that when they get involved, you know, might then excuse the whole the whole uh, the whole market for the stock. You know, it might uh, spike uh, uh, to to great heights, and then after that, you know, it will be a different pattern will uh, kick in. You know, but it doesn't seem to have um, some short squeeze may have occurred. It may have occurred. You can see these these uh, spikes. It may have occurred in the past, so yes. Given all of that, you know the the, the fact the, the the given all of that for the volatility we're talking about here, you can see that um, this is uh, a price of six point zero two as of the twelfth of uh, May, and then the next day, the next trading session, we have six point four six. So that is close to okay, not up to ten percent, you know. But okay, and after that, after three trading sessions i believe after three day trading sessions it had uh, already gained uh, more than 10 percent as well so okay well even at that 10 percent is still a lot but uh, graphically it looks like um it's it looks a bit volatile but in any case yes uh, you also have to factor in uh, this short interest and the interest that um uh, market participants will uh, have uh, towards it you know so um based on our time zone time times and analysis as of the 23rd of november it's expected that uh, maybe it might trade with it may it may be between 6.44 and 8.63 or even maybe before that that might even happen you know so but in the short term based on the fibonacci grid as of the 12th of uh 15th of 15th of August, we have projections of 6.26, 6.42, 6.54, and 6.77. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video.